here. Just thought I'd do a really quick video for you um, about systems, which is what I specialize in. So uh, some of you may have seen this slide before, but basically this is the process map, I suppose a process map of all of the systems and how they all feed into each other in my business, which allows me to be, well, to have more time, but also to be uh, swift and quite quick and sharp on all of my responses, especially to vendors, because this entire process, when it comes to deal packaging, it's all about timing. So uh, some of you have seen this before. Um, and basically what I'm showing you here is that there are a lot of different systems that all feed into what I use, Podio, my CRM system, customer relationship management system. So my Podio is the center of my business universe. Now, what I'm going to do over the course of the next few videos is I'm going to go through in detail each individual channel in and out of Podio so that you can set it up exactly as I have. So let's take a look, first of all, at Podio, because if you haven't got your Podio set up right, then you're off to a bad start. So all I've done at this point is I have registered for a Podio account. I've logged in and this is what it looks like. So we're starting from scratch here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a workspace. Think of a workspace as basically a fancy Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to call it direct mail. And you'll see how this all feeds into what I'm trying to show you on the process map shortly. Just ignore that for now. This is about adding other people to be able to see your workplace and anything that comes in and out of direct mail. We don't need that yet. Uh, and what it automatically does is it sets you up with a dashboard so that think of it as like your Facebook uh, wall with all of the latest information, anything that, that's related to, as we've called it, direct mail. So what we need to do is add an app. This is basically you've created a space and now we're going to add a tab as if you would in um, it's called an app, but it's like a tab in Excel. So if we click add app, really, really easy. Create your own app. We're going to keep this really simple, guys. We're going to call it, uh, we'll call it addresses. Okay, so this is our direct mail addresses. Standard, don't worry about your icons. You can get fancy with it and start testing it at a later date. And the next screen it's going to take you to is, I mean, what's this? What this is, is effectively... Um, what columns do you want in your Excel spreadsheet? So, for example, what do, what information do you need to know? So, if I go to my direct mail spreadsheet, I need all of this information. So, this is a spreadsheet. I want all of this data in my Podio account because then if a vendor rings in, I can tie it all back together, see all of the information about the property. So, basically we need to create a text uh, section. You see how I just dragged that over. So all you do is you can put, and you can play around with this. Uh, so date, so what have we got here? So we've got today's date. So basically let's just keep it the same for simplicity. Oh, Then we've got motivation. we've got link to add. Now this is really important because actually once it goes off right move you can still access it if you've got the original link. Then we've got house, street, town, city, postcode. So I'm just putting that in. All of this information, you might be thinking it's a bit overkill, but you need all of this information. Uh, asking price. So I like to use text. Now you can use the number facility. There's a number option here, but sometimes it can be a little bit buggish. So asking price just keeps it simple. And then we've got value. So the asking price and the value, surely they're the same thing, aren't they? No, they're not. 
So asking price is whatever the vendor chooses to ask for for their property. The value is what it's actually worth. And then we do 25% below offer. Because all this section is, is uh, another place to store the information. But it's easier to import all of this data into Podio from another spreadsheet rather than adding individual addresses. It would take far too long. So this is why we do it this way. Difference. So the difference basically is the difference between the asking price and a 25% below market value offer. So I'm going to put that in as well. I'm going to put all of the fields in because you'll see in a later video why you need to try and keep it so it does match because it will help you when you come to pull it all together. Number of beds, date listed. Date listed. So I'm keeping this really simple, guys. Now, if you want to get creative with it, you can uh, create different categories where you can have option A, option B, option C. And then when you look at it from the foot, so what we're doing here is creating a form. When you look at it from the form, it's actually really handy, but we don't need to do that for, for this. But have a play around with these. What you'll notice is anything where you're adding a number, like phone number, percentages, calculations. If I'm honest, I found a lot of bugs with it. So I just tend to use the text. The text works really, really well. So date listed. OK, so basically what I've done there, if I press done. It has created. A spreadsheet, which at the minute we're looking at, and there's nothing in there. Now, do you remember how I said it's easier to get all the data put into a spreadsheet and then mass uh, import it into Podio? You can do it in one transaction rather than doing this. This is the alternative look. So when I press add an address, I've now got to put all of that information in here and then press save. Now imagine if I've got a virtual assistant doing that, it's going to take her forever, which means she's going to scrape less addresses. She's going to cost me more. It's just not an efficient way of working. So if you can do it on mass, then we'll do it that way, which is the way I'm showing you. So that's how you set it up. Uh, so basically we've created, we've gone into Podio from scratch, brand new Podio account. We have set up a workplace. I think it's in project management. No, it's not. Bear with me. Oh, sorry, it's there. Direct mail. So you click on direct mail, you can delete the other ones. It automatically sets you up with some standard ones, which can be confusing. You've got your wall here and what you can do with your wall is so say there's two or three of you working together. You can add them at the beginning of adding this workspace so that everyone's got access to it. And anyone that writes anything, you can uh, click, put the at in and share with different people in your group, which is really handy to do. You see, I can tag other people. Uh, you've got your tasks, you've got calendars and stuff like that. You can play around with these and move them around as you want. to. It's really easy. And then I said we're going to create an app which is basically the addresses. So the app is the think of it as the Excel spreadsheet. And within the Excel spreadsheet, we've created uh, uh, almost well, we've created the columns, but it doesn't look the same as it would in Excel. We've created uh, the, you know, the questionnaire we've just done, which is basically a different layout, but it's asking the same data as it does here. Rather than putting each individual one and pressing save, what I'll show you in the next video is how to set up a Zapier to pull all of that data from your Excel spreadsheet into your Podio account. So first of all, let's get Podio set up because I've done that reasonably quick. The best thing about this video is you can pause it, rewatch it, play it at your own speed, at your own pace. Get Podio set up, get a bit comfortable with Podio. And then tomorrow I will post another video of how we're going to get all of the data from our direct mail spreadsheet through a system called Zapier. We, all of this is free and it's going to put it into your Podio. So bear with me on this because I'm going to do different videos for different channels. And then at the end, you'll see how it all fits together. So 
I hope you've liked this video. Please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss out on any new uh, content. And uh, please let me know if you've got any better ways of doing it. So comment below and um, let me know what you think. If you like it, please put a thumbs up. And if you've got any other uh, issues or any other problems and you want some assistance, please put it in the comments below and I will aim to do some content based on that for you. I hope that helps guys. Speak to you soon.